watching Channel 20 TV. Be with Channel 20 and let us make things better together. Hello friends, how are you? Welcome back to the show Kids Knowledge Factory, episode 22. We need to never lose our imagination. That is what I learned from last week. Do you know how? So uh, this is one of the thoughts which I had, which it appeared in my head while I was just sitting and doing nothing. So, Also, it is a lesson which I am slowly learning myself. Ask a friend to look into the clouds and see what a cloud looks like. And you'd get hundreds of answers, many, just many. Show them a blotch of ink in a piece of paper and they would give you an entire story around it. As we grow up, we're starting to see everything in a black and white perspective. It means like everything with logic and our creativity and imagination is going away. Yes, logic can give, bring you, take you to a successful life, but it can also be um, a bit of uh, paralyzing, yes. We can overthink a lot of things and create a lot of problems which were never even there in the first place. That is why we should always keep our imagination whenever we have it. Whenever you see the sky or a blotch of ink or just anything, like a drawing, a story, just anything, throw away logic as you grow up. You should use it when you need it, but sometimes you should not always use logic or else um, it would literally throw away the, the fun in life. Let's get started with our connection. As you can see on your right, there is a painting of flowers. In that painting, there are white, blue, and purple flowers, and green leaves, of course. In this picture, there are a total of three chairs for some reason. And I know that reason because uh, social distancing. You should always keep your distance from other people. Outside the window, you can find many cars and many trees. If you can see it, there is a tiny speck. It is actually a sprinkler. If there's any fire, it would turn on and literally shoot out water on the fire. And that's about it. Now I'm going to read a tongue twister, which I don't really know the name of. I just found it off a website. If you do know the name of this tongue twister, please let me know in the comments below. Let's get started. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on bugs. Now a little bit faster. Box on clocks on bricks and blocks, bricks and blocks and knocks on box. Now a lot faster. Box on clocks on. I can I can't. I can't. Box on clocks on brick and. Box on clocks on bricks and blocks, bricks and blocks and knocks on box. Finally, I got it on the third try. Third try is a charm. Now I'm going to read a fable which is named The Pig and the Sheep. Let's get started. One day, a shepherd discovered a fat pig in the meadow where his sheep were pastured. He very quickly captured the porker, which squealed at the top of its voice the moment the shepherd laid his hands on it. Porker is another name for pig, if you don't know. If you don't know, now you know. You would have thought 
to hear the loud squealing that the pig was being cruelly hurt. But in spite of its squeals and struggles to escape, the shepherd tucked his prize under his arm and started off to the butchers. Butchers, god oh, damn it. I, I, once again, I practice all damn tongue twisters. I don't know what's going on with me. Let me continue. Started off to the butchers in the marketplace. The sheep in the pasture were much astonished and amused at the pig's behavior and followed the shepherd and his charge to the pasture. What makes a squeal like that? asked one of the sheep. The shepherd often catches and carries off one of us. But we should feel very much ashamed to make such a terrible fuss about it like you do. That is all very well, replied the pig, with a squeal and a frantic kick. When he catches you, he is only after your wool. But he wants my bacon. It's a sound of a pig. Yeah. It is easy to be brave when there is no danger. By the way, bacon is the meat of the pig. Now you know what it is. That's all for this episode. See you next episode. Till then, stay safe, listen to your parents, and always be happy. Bye.